Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. And uh, yeah, for this video, I'm going to redeem my uh, my gifts. So let's have a quick look at what they are. Tank of Honor Carbon, uh, some uh, implant, little hel helper mail, couple of uh, NEO cards, Scotty the docking manager's clone, some more snowballs, and then a Verrocchio probe. So I'll redeem the selected items and I'm currently in Dodixie, uh, which is where I want to get my um, my uh, collector's items, I'll say. So let's quickly go there and I should see my items now uh, in the inventory. And there we go, there they are. So, whoops, and right away uh, someone is trying to... Uh, is convoying me. Um, if any of you guys want to do that, I don't mind at all, but uh, just know that uh, I'm recording from time to time as well, so I'll just let him quickly know right now. Recording, so be right back. Alright, so I'll uh, check with him a bit later. But let's have a quick look at the, at the items that I got here. Uh, tank of Honor, an expanded ga glass tank filled with a sub substance that scientific classification aside looks and feels genuinely, genuinely, genuinely like Honor. So, uh, not sure what that's going to be in reference to, but uh, it's always nice to have. I'm pretty sure uh, some of this stuff will become uh, collector's items. Uh, little Helper. These are renowned for a unique style of exotic dancer. <laughs> Slavers descended uh, on their home world of Hothomouth X, something like that. Uh, and they are now considered an endangered race. So yeah, I got a, a male little helper right there, a uh, male exotic dancer. Next up, Scotty the docking manager's clone. How did you think he ran all those stations? So ah, there you go. That's uh, that's uh, probably gonna be one that almost everybody has, I think. So I'm not sure if that one is going to um, increase in uh, in value, but um, well, it's okay. Uh, I guess that's in reference to the guy that uh, handles all the docking on on all stations, basically. Uh, next up, the new Eden Open cards. Um, one of 27 different cards created for the first new Eden Open Tournament. And I got Tengu Terror, which is the other one here, the Exiled Gaming and the Gentleman Renegades. So you get uh, like uh, the team information and all of that, uh, sponsor name, team name. And so apparently there are 27 of these. I like this idea, it's a bit like uh, baseball cards and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that there will be some rare ones. And that there will be people trying to collect the the, the whole set of 27. Um, so, yep, for uh, collector's items is pretty... Can you collect them all, all the way down here? So, for collector's items, I think this is a pretty cool idea, actually. And uh, this might uh, become decently valuable as well. And let's have a, a look then at the ship we get. Uh, make active... Right, so a skinned probe uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, personally, I would have expected something a little bit more exotic uh, than than pretty much a regular model. But uh, let's have a quick look actually and compare it to a normal probe then. And no, no not equipment. There we go. Probe. Yeah, it's the same model. It's just reskinned. Uh, but all right, of course, you know, these are gifts and uh, that's another collector ship um, for people that enjoy them. So always cool to have. Uh, let's have a quick look at the show info. Anything special on that? 7.5 increase to scan strength, 5% bonus to code breaker analyzer and salvager cycle time. Designed for exploration. Mm. And this probe was commissioned by the Verrocchio tribal leadership and bears their colors and insignia. 
the Verrocchior, have less political influence than many other tribes but have become an integral part of both public and private sectors of the Republic economy. So there you go, a special Minmetar ship. I don't know, might, might we, this be uh, life events related? Uh, we do know that uh, that this might take a turn for uh, Minmetar involvement at some point. So yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. And there you go, those were my gifts. Um, let's quickly go over to the market and buy some, which is actually why I'm here. Buy some extra Noxium. Buy this, uh, 22,000, something like that. Should uh, allow me to produce another, another Talos and make some money. And uh, I did have a few other topics I wrote down for this video. So I'll head over back to Yona where I need to produce and I'll cover them in the meantime. Uh, let's have a look uh, if there's any snowball fights going on. Um, although you could already redeem the items from yesterday. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a lot to see. So um, looks pretty quiet at, uh, at first look right here. That's probably going to be one of those Verrocchi or probes. Um, anyways, yeah, some extra topics then. Um, if online reached 450,000 subs, so uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty nice to hear that if online is still growing after uh, almost 10 years. Uh, this also means that uh, the upcoming weekends, which are around the Christmas holidays, uh, are a good opportunity for uh, everyone to try and set a new record for concurrent players on the server. Um, I'll try to be online as much as possible. I know that that's not always easy during the holidays, but uh, yeah, let's hope we can beat that uh, that rec record of like uh, 63,000 and, and a little bit uh, over that. So would be cool, of course. Um, I didn't make a video yesterday because I was involved in the live events. Um, two days ago there was some bickering between Serpentis and uh, Combined Harvest people in Evolon. Uh, it was uh, concerning all the, the aid that was donated by Capsuleers. Um, after that the Poco on the planet uh, had been reinforced so it was assumed that there was going to be a live event or, or maybe a fight. And uh, yeah, we went over there to uh, to, to Evolon just in case, but uh, turned out there was no fight and it was at uh, like two in the morning for us. So yeah, um, unfortunately no live event to report, although they're still going on slowly uh, building on the storyline. Uh, but uh, right now not really with any PvP events, they're just uh, more chats and uh, stuff like that. And uh, finally, a quick note on Dust514 which is now in its uh, chromosome build, which is said to be the last build before open beta. Uh, it's still on the test servers, but uh, it should be with planetary bombardments. So um, I'm pretty sure that we'll get some, some footage available soon of planetary bombardment from the test servers. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good news for uh, Dust514 in general, if this is indeed the last build before open beta. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, to, to the launch, uh, which of course uh, could bring some very interesting new features to EVE Online. I'm definitely looking forward to that as I know some of uh, our real life friends also want to give Dust514 a try. And then maybe a quick very last note uh, on the kill rights. Uh, as you know, I had several kill rights from one of the live events. Uh, at the moment, most of these have around eight days left. Uh, I have managed to sell two of them actually. Two of them have been used. One has sold for 200,000 ISK, the other one for 80,000 ISK. Um, I checked out the last kill mail. Uh, he, the, the pirate that uh, was punished, uh, got taken out in, in uh, one of the new destroyers. So yeah, not that big a loss. And whoa, where the hell am I going? It looks like my autopilot is uh, sending me to Losek and that's actually not where I want to go. So autopilot prefers safer. That's gonna be a bit better. Um, yeah, so those kill rights, uh, they do get used and sold uh, whenever people find 
uh, the opportunity and so far for the highest price I've gotten for it is 200,000 ISK uh, for a kill right um, I would say you can probably sell most of those for 100,000 ISK something like that is it's a price that's very reasonable and that people will still uh, gladly pay to get the opportunity to uh, to have a fight with someone um, anyways uh, there you go guys um, the holidays are coming so if I miss a few days uh, don't panic that's just because I'm pretty busy with the holidays and I'll see you all next time